Hello anyone, and welcome back to To The Moon, where we are about to start the main plot, which should be interesting. So let's get into it, now that we've had a brief introduction. Time to see what we're actually doing here, so let's initiate. Alright, here we go. This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time you can view your position in time by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. So we can. So this is Johnny's lifeline. And now let's go and see why we need to know that. If I can get the controls again. Ah, oh, there will be improvement, I promise. It's weird how outside is so much less sepia than inside. Although it still feels off. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the Agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. We're here to fulfil our contract from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Eh, it's just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You. You're here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us get you to go there. Can't read, sorry. It's essential for helping us to get you to go there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just... do. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it's too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps. Which you've given us permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. <laughs> yes, because that's the obvious other solution. <laughs> the point is, you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. 
As long as you can take me to the moon, I'll cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Here goes nothing! Received a note, Moon. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Uh, prepare? Ah, yes. Here's where the puzzles come in. Complete the memento. Click the orbs to flip pieces. Well, that was easy. This memento can now be activated for traversal. Uh, what was the note we got while I'm here? Objective. The moon in Johnny's memory is full. Okay. Don't know if this will help us, but... Uh, room key, toy platypus, plush toy of a duck-billed platypus, and a jewel-coloured rabbit made from folded paper. Okay. Let's activate it and begin the journey. Wait. What about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. Well, that's an awkward note to leave that on. But here we are. Turn off visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah. Happy? Jeez, what's with all these rabbits? This is creeping me out. We probably should have checked his record for psychopathy first. Psychopathy? I don't know how you pronounce that. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of this memory. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. Okay, we're controlling Neil now. Uh, interact with objects to establish five memory links. Let's get going. I can't click on Johnny at all, but... A multicoloured paper rabbit. Well, aren't you special? Having two colours when all your siblings look like they're drowned in bleach. What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, yes. I agree. Quality commentary there from him. Can't turn on the lamp. Good to know. Sure we can't talk to you? Looks like we can't. The clock is moving, but soundless received a note. The clocks in Johnny's house never tick. Okay then. Oh! Memento detected! So now we just have to find all of the other assorted ones. Can we go upstairs? We can. Still moving but soundless, so it really is all of the clocks. Okay. That progressed. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen, which we read some of last episode. And it's a memento, apparently. Good to know. Selection of readings from medical journals. An old and patched up backpack. What is this, a million years old? I guess we'll find out. Not a memento, though. A glass bottle of pickled olives. Ugh, I hate this stuff. You and me both, Dr. Watts. What's to hate? It's pickled olive. Exactly. Yeah, I'm kind of with him here. Ooh, can we talk to him now? That's interesting. 
don't. If we have to explain our presence to him at every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tempt me. So I guess this is what they mean about not necessarily being able to keep the privacy. Oh, I can look at this thing. Fresh wildflowers. Oh! And that's it, okay. But did we miss anything? No, we can't go in there. Hmm. So we can now travel with the memento. There isn't much to see in this memory, so we're going to go ahead and do that then. How do I can? What the heck was that? What? That's it, I'm doing the breaking from now on. Again, apologies for any error in pronunciation there. I read it as I see it, which is a questionable technique. Right, back to puzzling. Ah, we can flip the diagonal, okay. I'd really like to do this effectively, so the ideal is three. Given that it's telling me I can do this, let's give it a go. Yeah. These are going to get harder as we go along, and I am afraid. <laughs> but let's activate it. See where we end up next. When it comes to rain, through is better than onto. I don't mind it regardless. Seems like these memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento or it's going to take forever. Meh, just enjoy the scenery. Okay, can we go back at all? No. An old stuffed toy platypus. Honestly, I just don't think this animal has the right to exist. The world's not big enough for two of you. In memory of Rivery Wiles. Oh, the lighthouse is open. Can we talk to him at all? I don't think so. There is something very morbid about what we're doing. Oh, here we go. It's finished, River. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. I might never understand why, but I stayed true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. But when I'm gone... Who's going to watch over us? Who are you? My name is Eva. I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes, her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Hmm? She... she didn't need to do it. But she... You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. Man, I feel bad for him. It's very interesting how this game works with going back in time, because nothing really makes sense at the moment. I'm aware of that. But it will. Received a note about Anya. Someone John and River cared for. And I guess that's all the information we get about that one, then. Oh, I only have to click once to go up the stairs. That's much easier. Thank you for taking pity on me, controls. About time you got here. I almost thought you fell off the cliff. What were you doing? Enjoying the scenery. What else? Any luck here? 
Big luck. Huge. Dinosauric. Is that a word? I don't think so. Huh, this place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse. What do you expect? Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. Thanks for that, Neil. A broken lighthouse lamp. Oh, hello. No dialogue then, I guess. Not much left to do but find the platypus. Oh, it's so hard to know where the click window is. I'm trying to keep my mouse out of the way as much as possible, but it's a bit difficult. But here we go, more puzzles. Number of moves the memento can be completed in. Yep. This one, thankfully, is relatively obvious. Which is good, because I take it I will have a lot more difficulty as we go on. Anything to say? No. Then let's activate. Just enough. After we pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it. So don't you worry. White lie. That's what you call it, right? No, I'm sure we can just... Stop it. I don't like it when you lie. I calculated our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my will? We need the money for your medical bills, River. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this... This is just too much. I mean, she... She isn't even... Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just hope you can help me with it. River. When the papers for my treatment get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her. Visit her. Speak to her. Comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy. I'll be happy. Johnny? Yes? I made this. Tell me what it is. What? Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit, like all the others you made. What else? Um, it's made of paper. What else? Its body is yellow, and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look, River. I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. Well, would you like to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open.
It's called Forever. Why so cliché? It's just a placeholder. Who is this Anya they were talking about? Is she so important, shouldn't we have seen her in his late memories? I guess he didn't keep that promise after all. Unless... Unless what? Never mind. Hey, that's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. You know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a quick ride or look around yourself? Let's stay and explore. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Don't you miss the days when memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. Oh boy. But yeah, the MP8 thing does imply that this is quite far in the future, if the travelling back through people's memories hadn't already done that. So that is the memento. But I love this version of the song. Earlier they were playing Tommy and Sarah's version, this is Johnny's version. And that's the one I know how to play. And it means such a huge amount to me. I'm so happy to be back in this world. The Emperor's new clothes again. Not the platypus this time. Received a note about the rabbit. What river gave to John? So I guess we know the origin of it now. That's just that again, okay. Again, the click windows are a bit difficult to figure out, but we can go out of the room. Did Neil really get all of this done before we got here? I'm not sure if I believe him. A pot of mixed dough. Weird that that's it. And a glass of pickled olives. Someone really likes these. And it's not me. I'm telling you, there's just no way. What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. So he had the piano moved up there to play her the song. It's weird being in not that house anymore. But here we are. Let's activate this memento, then. Missed out on the ideal by one. Oh well. Here we go. Finally. I love how easy it is for them to just jump over fences and so on. Heh, look what we have here. I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it.
Nick called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favourite, right? I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her, il her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills... We can't afford to finish building the house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... You don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm... I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. It'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. Yikes. Well, guess we're going with the pickled olives. My favourite thing. Sorry I keep pausing like that, it's kind of hard to tell what scenery you can and can't walk through. Memory links can also be acquired from exploration. Good thing I like exploring. Is there anything clickable in here? Not that I can see. But man, it's so weird to be going backwards in the story. And it's one of the things that I think is really clever about this game. That it's such a different way of storytelling, but it's still so effective. Also, that music box is really relaxing. <laughs> if somewhat depressing. Okay, so we can't go any further that way. I like this pond. To be honest, all of this is really nice looking, but it's very odd to see it when we've seen it in the present, as it were. Can you tell I don't know where I'm going? I guess we could try following Johnny. Probably should have thought of that sooner. Wait, why am I bothering? I got all of the mementos. 
See, this is why I don't claim to be good at games, but I am here for the story. In this game, possibly more than many others. Apart from maybe Xenoblade, of the ones on my channel so far, but... Here we go. Back on the ideal. Some of them are obvious, to be fair. What was that note? Johnny's favourite. And I think at this point I will end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm looking forward to continuing this adventure with you. But until then, goodbye. <laughs>